hello guys welcome back to our channel thanks for joining me today i'm going to explain the circular dependency like how this circular dependency error will come so uh, even i also face the issue so many times so let's uh, know about how we we'll get this circular dependency error first i load the data downloads data got loaded This is the day my data. Just select training sample two, then load it. Wait for the data to load. My data source is Excel. I'm loading from the Excel. So okay, my data is loaded. Let's go to the data view. This is the data view. Here, this is the sales data. It contains the uh, region, country, customer, and business segments, the category and model, color, sales date, sales date, and unit price. It's completely related to. By date. So here, first I need to calculate total sales. How we need to calculate the total sales? First, we need to add the calculated column. Go to new column. In new column, we have to add total sales. Total sales. Write a measure for the total sales. Total sales equals to some x because as we are using it in the calculated column, we have to use the iterative functions called some x. Sum x. What is the table name? Training sample, comma, unit price into order quantity. So let's try. We'll get this total sales now. If you see here. How this total sale is uh, total sales is calculated? It considers complete whole whole column. It's not it, it's not looking at each row. It's looking at whole column. So how to make it as uh, iterate to each and every rows? So because if, uh, that we called as here we need to perform a context transition. So if we need to perform context transition, it need to happen means we have to use calculate function here. Then only. It looks for each and every rows, so it has to iterate to each rows. Then only we'll get the total sales for each rows. Okay, now you can get the total sales for each rows. This is what we calculated the total sales. Now what I need to calculate, I need to group it. Like I have to group something like uh, something like if the sales is greater than thousand, it has to show low or high. Let's create one more new column. So sales low slash or high. Switch for this. So if you want to uh, uh, give any statement to true or false, then we have to go for switch or if. I'll go for switch because I'm flexible in the switch function. True. You can use if also no problem. True. If sales total sales total sales greater than thousand, just I'm taking only thousand. You can you can use it for two thousand or more than that. That is complete up choice for you people only. And greater than thousand. I'll make it as high, otherwise low. Okay, let's enter it. Okay, so now we came to the point. So, are you able to see any error like a circular dependency was detected? Training samples, training samples. So this is because because total sales is depend on the uh, total sales. Also calculated on the one column, and these sales low or high is dependent on total sales because one because one calculated column is dependent dependent on other calculated column. Hence, it, we are getting this circular dependency because both our columns depends on uh, other columns and depends on itself. That's why we are getting the circular dependency. How to avoid this circular dependency? Let's see how to avoid this circular dependency. We have two function we can use to avoid the circular dependency. So we can use remove filter, or we can use all except, or we can use all select to 
or avoid the circular dependency. So where we have to use that uh, certain, uh, remove filter or uh, all selected, these things we have to use it in total sales. In total sales, we have to use remove filter after calculate after um, after this summex function so we have to use remove filter remove filter so for which training sample comma here higher low for this column only we have to remove the filters because here as I said before, the contact transition is, is happening here. So we have to remove that context transition. So we have to remove the filters. Then only the circular dependency will remove from the formula. So let's close it. Let's check now whether it is works or not. Sorry. Remove filters, sales higher low. Let's try. Okay, it's fucking fine now. So then go to sales are low or high. If you see here, still we are seeing the error. Just refresh the DAX. So now we could see the result. So this circular dependency occurs due to due to the dependency of the column because uh, so both the columns depends on itself or uh, one column depends on the other column that's why so we will get the circular dependency to remove that circular dependency we have we can use two formulas one is remove filter or all selected or all accept if you so if you use those formulas in the total sales we can come out of the circular dependency error thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell.